Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be giving my Oscars 2023 predictions. I'll be going a little bit out of order here. So, with Best Picture being last, also I'll wait and I'll go from the bottom, which will kind of go out of order. So, we have writing, original screenplay. The nominees are The Banshees of Inner Sharon, written by Martin Mc. Donna, Everything Everywhere All at Once, written by Daniel Kwan and Daniel Scheinert, The Fablemans, written by Steven Spielberg and Tony Kushner, Tar, written by Todd Field, and Triangle of Sadness, written by Ruben Ostland. And so for original screenplay, um, let's see, I, I would have to give it to... Everything, everywhere, all at once. Um, the only two in this category I haven't watched were Tar and Triangle of Sadness. But yeah, I think I will be giving it to Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Then we have Writing, Adapted, Screenplay, All Quiet on the Western Front, Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery, Living, Top Gun Maverick, and women talking and adapted screenplay I think it will probably go to women talking screenplay by Sarah Polly I haven't seen that movie but I think it's gonna win and then we have visual effects all quiet on the western front Avatar The Way of Water, The Batman, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and Top Gun Maverick. And for visual effects, even though I haven't seen it, I think it's going to be Avatar The Way of Water. Um, I just... Visual effects. And it took a long time to make the second Avatar, so I'm probably going to go Avatar for the visual effects. Uh, then we have Sound, All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar, The Way of Water, The Batman, Elvis, and Top Gun Maverick. And for Sound, I think they'll probably give it to... Maybe All Quiet on the Western Front? I think probably All Quiet on the Western Front. Um, then we have short film, live action, An Irish Goodbye, Ivalu, La Poupelle, Knight Rider, The Red Suit Suitcase. I haven't seen any of these movies, um, but uh, just to guess, let's say, I don't know why The Red Suitcase is going there but I think the red suitcase I don't know I haven't seen any of these movies so I can't really talk about them uh, then we have short film animated the boy the mole the fox and the horse the flying sailor ice merchants my year of dicks and ostrich told me the world is fake and I think I believe it uh, maybe an ostrich told me the world is fake and I believe it I don't know I haven't seen any of these then we have Production Design, All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar, The Way of Water, Babylon, Elvis, The Fablemans. Um, production Design. I think they'll probably give it to maybe Elvis or, or Babylon. I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. Okay. I'm going to skip this picture and predict that last. Then we have musical, music, original song. Applause, hold my hand, lift me up, not to, not to. This is a life. Um, I think it's probably going to go to Natu Natu from RRR Music by M.M. M. Kurvani and Chandra Bose. And I think they're going to win that. 
Then we have music, original score, All Quiet on the Western Front, Volker Bertelman, Babylon, Justin Hurwitz, The Banshees of Inner Sharon, Carter Burwell, Everything Everywhere All at Once, Son Locks, and The Fableman's John Williams. I think it's probably going to go to Babylon, Justin Hurwitz, um, because he won the Golden Globes. And he, I think he won other, he's been on a winning streak. He also did the music to La La Land and Whiplash. So I think he's going to get the win here. And so I'm predicting Justin Hurwitz. Then we have makeup and hairstyling. All Quiet on the Western Front. The Batman. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Elvis and the Whale. Um, I think it'll probably be makeup and hairstyling. I'd go with Elvis. Although I know when I was checking on DraftKings, the whale is favored for the makeup and hairstyling. But I'm going to go Elvis. International feature film. All Quiet on the Western Front. Argentina, 1985. Close. EO and The Quiet Girl. Um... International feature film, although I haven't seen any of these, is going to go to All Quiet on the Western Front. Um, It's a very heavy favorite to win. I checked DraftKings, and I just think All Quiet on the Western Front is going to win. So that will be the international feature film. Then we have film editing, The Banshees of Inna Sharon, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, Tar, and Top Gun Maverick. Uh, film editing. I know when I was first researching this category, uh, for a long time, Top Gun Maverick was the favorite. Although now it's moved to everything, everywhere, all at once. And I think it'll probably go to everything, everywhere, all at once. Then we have documentary short film. The Elephant Whispered. Haul Out. How Do You Measure a Year? The Martha Mitchell Effect, Stranger at the Gate. I haven't seen any of these short films, but let's just go with Stranger at the Gate. That sounds that sounds interesting. We'll go with Stranger at the Gate. Although I haven't seen that, so then we have documentary feature film, All That Breathes, All the Beauty and the Bloodshed Bloodshed. Fire of Love, A House Made of Splinters, Novalani, Novalani. Okay, I think it's going to go to All the Beauty and the Bloodshed. I haven't seen that movie, but I've just been hearing a lot about it, and I feel like All the Beauty and the Bloodshed is going to win. Directing, we have The Banshees of Inna Sharon, Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Fablemans, Tar, Triangle of Sadness. I haven't seen Tar. I haven't seen Triangle of Sadness. Um, I did see The Banshees of Inna Sharon. Everything Everywhere All at Once. And The Fablemans. Um, The Banshees of Inna Sharon was a good movie. Um, It centers on two friends that live in an Irish town. And then one of the friends just stops wanting to see the other it's got Brendan, F- no, it's not got Brendan. It's got Brendan Gleeson, and it's got it's got Brendan Gleeson, and it's got Colin Farrell. Then we have Everything Everywhere All at Once, which is a sci-fi kind of all over the place. It goes around in time a lot. Then we have The Fablemans, which is about Spielberg's life and. Um, from his childhood to high school, and it's just it's a really good movie. Then we have Tar, which is Todd Field. It's got Kate Blanchett, and then we have Triangle of Sadness. I haven't seen that. So directing, I think they're probably going to give it to Everything Everywhere All at Once. It's the favorite here. Although I I like the Fablemans, I would have voted for the Fablemans, but I think it's going to go to everything, everywhere, all at once. 
Then we have costume design. We have Babylon, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, and Miss Harris Goes to Paris. Uh, costume design. I think probably it'll either go to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, or Elvis. Then we have cinematography, All Quiet on the Western Front. Bardo, False Chronicles of a Handful of Truths, Elvis, Empire of Light, Tar. Um, Cinematography. Maybe Tar? I think it'd probably go to Tar for cinematography. Then we have animated feature film, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, The Sea Beast, Turning Red. It's going to go to Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. He won Golden Globes. He's won every award up until this point. It's going to Guillermo del Toro, Pinocchio. Then we have actress in a supporting role. Angela Bassett, Hong Chow, Carrie Condon, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Stephanie Hisu. And... I think it's probably going to go to Angela Bassett. She won Golden Globes and I think she won Screen Actors Guild. Although Carrie Condon could win BAFTAs. In fact, I think she will win BAFTAs. I would have gone with Carrie Condon. I think her performance is really good in the movie. She plays the sister of Colin Farrell in the movie and she's just a really good actress and I would have voted for her but I think they're going to give it to Angela Bassett for Black Panther Wakanda Forever um it's the the Black Panther Wakanda Forever's um they have a tribute to Chadwick Boseman and he's a great a- he he was a great actor I liked him in 42, um, which is about Jackie Robinson and breaking the color barrier for baseball. And um, yeah, I think Angela Bassett has it, although I would have voted for Carrie Condon, and I think she has a really good performance. Then we have actress in a leading role, Kate Blanchett for Tar, Anna de Armas for Blonde, Andrea Riseborough for Two Leslie, Michelle Williams for The Fablemans, Michelle Yeoh for Everything Everywhere All at Once. And I've been I've been checking I checked DraftKings, I checked Variety, I've checked all the major websites, Deadline, Hollywood Reporter. Um I don't know who to pick for this category. I know that it's between Kate Blanchett and Michelle Yeoh. I don't think Anna de Armas or Michelle Williams will win or Andrea Riseborough. Although she, Andrea Riseborough and Two Leslie, not a lot of people have seen it. It's an indie movie. Um, she had a lot of support from some big names, though. Edward Norton, Kate Blanchett, Kate Winslet, um, and a bunch of other people. Um, it's about someone who's won the lottery and then they become an alcohol, they have alcohol, they become an alcoholic and the subject matter is just, um, pretty tough to take, but, uh, I just don't think she'll win. And so I think it's between Kate Blanchett for Tar and Michelle Yeoh for Everything Everywhere All at Once. Uh, according to DraftKings, Kate Blanchett is the favorite. Although I think I'm going to give it to Michelle Yeoh here. Um, Kate Blanchett has already won three Oscars and Michelle Yeoh has won no Oscars. Michelle Yeoh also was um, the first... Uh, She's got a lot of momentum going for her, and she was also the first uh, Asian 
actress in a leading role for the Academy. And so I think Michelle Yeoh has it here. Uh, it's a good movie. And yeah, I think Michelle Yeoh has it. Although Kate Blanchett could win as well, but I think it's going to Michelle Yeoh. Then we have actor in a supporting role. Brendan Gleeson, The Banshees of Inna Sharon, Brian Tyree Henry in Causeway, Judd Hirsch in Fab- The Fablements, Barry Keoghan in The Banshees of Inna Sharon, and Ki Hu Kwan, Everything Everywhere All at Once. And okay, Brendan Gleeson was good in Banshees of Inna Sharon as the friend of Colin Farrell, and he just, he, um, just doesn't want to talk to him anymore. Brian Tyree Henry in Causeway. That's a really good movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend watching it. Um, it's with Jennifer Lawrence and Brian Tyree Henry. And Brian Tyree Henry and Jennifer Lawrence uh, form a friendship. Um, because Jennifer Lawrence uh, goes out on a military um, military mission. And then she comes back and she's suffering from PTSD. And Brian Tyree Henry, uh, she brings like her car in to be fixed by Brian Tyree Henry. And they develop a friendship. It's a really good movie. And I recommend watching it if you haven't. Then we have Judd Hirsch, The Fablemans. Judd Hirsch was really good in The Fablemans. And, um,. He has a great performance. He's not in the movie very long, but uh, Judd Hirsch is just a great actor. And then they have we have Barry Keoghan. He was in the Banshees of Inna Sharon, and as and he lives in the same town as Colin Farrell and Carrie Condon, and um, he's uh, how do you describe his character? He's very um he doesn't always say the right uh thing he's in fact he says the wrong thing a lot of the time uh very good movie kind of dark uh, not dark but i watched it at night so maybe watch it during the day if you want to you know not be as frightened by the subject matter that's all i'll say without trying to spoil it if you haven't seen it then we have ki hu kwan and everything everywhere all at once um he's really good in this movie uh he's won the screen actors guild he's won golden globes he's won every every award and it's a comeback story he was um he was in indiana jones as a kid and um, was Sp- and he credits Spielberg for giving him a chance when nobody else would, and um, it's just a great story, and I think he'll win. Ki Hu Kwan, actor in a supporting role, he's a heavy favorite according to DraftKings. As of last time I checked, you had to bet a thousand dollars just to win a hundred dollars, but that's because Ki Hu Kwan will win for everything, everywhere, all at once for actor in a supporting role. Then we have actor in the leading role. We have Austin Butler for Elvis, Colin Farrell for The Banshees of Inna Sharon, Brendan Fraser for The Whale, Paul Mescal for After Sun, Bill Nye for Living. And, um, okay, Austin Butler and Elvis, he played, well, he was playing Elvis Presley. Uh, Colin Farrell, Banshees of Inna Sharon. Um, he plays Pod- Podrick Pork. I'm probably not saying that correctly, but he plays Pork. Uh, then we have Brendan Fraser in The Whale. I haven't seen Brendan Fraser in The Whale, um, so I can't really talk about his performance. Uh, then we have Paul Mescal for After Sun, and After Sun's an indie movie it's um he plays a father and he's it shows his this trip he took with his daughter and it it just shows um everything they do on the trip and there's a lot of um 
it's just it's uh it shows like the the anxiety he has but also the hope or well, no he has he like really loves his daughter and he just it, that sh- he shows that and it's just a great movie it's an indie um you can watch it i think on amazon i'm not sure about that but yeah paul mascal after sun and then we have bill nye for living bill nye is a great actor um i don't think he's gonna win um i'll be rooting for paul mascal to win for after sun but i just don't think he has it he i don't think he, they're gonna give it to him um I, i'd be okay if paul mascal or colin farrell won but i think they're probably gonna give it to brendan fraser Everybody likes a comeback story, and, um, you know, uh, a lot of people are rooting for Brendan Fraser. He's, like, a comeback story, and they want him to win. So I think it's going to be Brendan Fraser who will win, but I'd want Mescal or Farrell to, to win. Now we're going down to Best Picture. Let's go to this picture, which is the last category. And best picture, they have All Quiet on the Western Front, Avatar, The Way of Water, The Banshees of Inna Sharon, Elvis, Everything Everywhere All at Once, The Fablemans, Tar, Top Gun Maverick, Triangle of Sadness, and Women Talking. And... Um, I've been monitoring, I was monitoring DraftKings for months where f- all throughout the season of the award season, Fablemans was the favorite. Everybody thought that uh, Fablemans was going to win. I even thought Fablemans had best picture. Um, they were a really heavy favorite and the movie's good. It's a great movie about uh, it shows Steven Spielberg's life and how he became so passionate about filmmaking and becoming a director and everything that leads up to it. And it shows how his his mom was like an artist and a pian- was a she was a piano player and his dad was an engineer and how they differed in their thinking. And again, just a really good movie. Um, so I thought that that was going to win. But the favorite now on DraftKings is Everything Everywhere All at Once. Um, I think people like the movie. It's got sci-fi. It's got, you know, alter- alternate storylines going through it. It's got like, um, again, sci-fi. People talk, people, inanimate objects talking to each other. Um, different paths if like something had gone differently in your life and maybe you chose one way or another way and so yeah I think they're probably going to give it to everything everywhere all at once I would vote if I was a academy voter I would vote Fablemans and everything everywhere all at once but best picture I think is going to be everything everywhere all at once by Daniel Kwan, Daniel Scheinert, and Jonathan Wang And those are my predictions. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like the video, comment down below. And I know there were parts throughout the video where I sometimes messed up or paused. But that happens. I'm filming this video pretty late. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.